Hello to you and happy Valentine's Day. It's here at last Friday, the 14th of February 2020. It's Valentine's Day and uh, there are things going on in astrology. So let's take a look at today and uh, at the week ahead. As I speak, the moon is in Scorpio. Uh, she is actually going to be entering Sagittarius before very long. Uh, but it's a Scorpio moon at the moment. It's tricky emotionally. That's the thing about it being Valentine's Day. Jealousy, greed, envy, those kind of things. Negative feelings basically can happen under a Scorpio moon. Now that is not absolutely always the case. Uh, if you know Scorpio people, more than one Scorpio person, you'll see that there is more than one way that Scorpio can turn out in people's lives so uh, let's not focus too much on the negativity but let's be aware of it there's there's going to be a bit of envy about I should think particularly in matters of love at the moment things just go black and white with Scorpio you're either one thing uh, or another but then sexuality sensuality they go up um, strong emotions and you know, powerful emotions uh, things run high it tends to be kind of quite highly strung basically but there we are Scorpio moon 66.7 percent actually so we're not far off um, coming up to third quarter well we're in third quarter but we call it third quarter when we get to the end of it okay and that's going to be on uh, the 15th that's actually tomorrow uh, 2217 UTC so eight hours before that Pacific and uh, five hours before that Eastern so the moon energy is actually on its way down that whole lunar influence is on the way at the moment and once we uh, get into um, the last quarter really as she wanes right down to towards new moon uh, then it's more about what's around us what's personal to us what's close to home and what's close to our work what we spend our lives doing comes much more into focus and uh, if Valentine's Day is kind to you this year uh, that could be really quite exciting actually so I'm not saying life is on the wane but the moon is on the wane right now the moon is trying Mercury and make the most of this right communications flow smoothly it's an uh, easy time to express yourself in a natural way get your feelings get your emotions out and talk about them uh, a great time for anything esoteric as well and uh, looks like quite good conditions for love I'm saying make the most of it because Mercury is actually going to turn retrograde on Sunday the 16th more about that in a second but today as we go into this Valentine's weekend Mercury sextile Jupiter um, Anything to do with education, the law, and uh, travel and transport, communication basically uh, are themes and they are actually in focus. Good time to explore, good time for learning, that kind of thing. But we are in the pre-shadow to Mercury retrograde, so look out, we can get misunderstandings quite easily then. Venus square Jupiter, things get a bit kind of overblown basically and uh, there is a lot of windy weather around. We've just had Storm Kira and uh, we're into Storm somebody else now. It's a man's name, I forget what it is. But it's a storm basically blowing all over the place and that does go with Venus square Jupiter. Mars void in Sagittarius could be a bit panicky. Jupiter sextile Neptune, it's optimistic. So uh, all in all, Looking at the planets closest to us today, that is quite a positive start to the weekend. And just the fact that it's Valentine's Day, it's kind of upbeat. Um, you know, if you're expecting expressions of love and they didn't come already today, try and keep an open mind because they might. The show's not over till the fat lady sings, that's what I always say. Well, I don't always say it. Be a bit much if I was saying that in the middle of the night, wouldn't it? But there we are. Right, okay. So Scorpio Moon actually came in last night, 4.37 p.m. Pacific, 7.37 p.m. Eastern, and that was midnight 37 here in UK. So we are well into Scorpio. Um, and then what happens tomorrow, February the 15th, we've got Uranus semi-sextile Chiron. So look out uh, for issues around the wounded healer, which is what Chiron is really all about. Um, it's a planet we haven't known about for all that long, to be quite honest, but it certainly does have an effect in uh, astrology. So if you're giving healing or if you need healing and it's not flowing smoothly, that is probably why and it will not go on forever. That's the good news about it. Okay, then third quarter moon, that's 
coming in 5 17 pm eastern so 10 17 pm here in uk and what's that uh 5 4 3 2 17 in the afternoon pacific i got there in the end that's that third quarter moon and that's happening in 26 degrees of scorpio so uh well into the scorpio thing then so we come to sunday the 16th and then mars is going to enter capricorn at 6 33 a.m now um the negative side of Mars kind of can freak people out and uh, Capricorn can be seen as negative but it seems to me this is quite a good uh, positive alignment. It's actually happening with Mars in naught degrees Capricorn, right on the edge of Capricorn there. And uh, the thing we need most of all when Mars is causing problems with people and things are getting out of control that way is uh, we usually say have some kind of constructive project to ground the energy. Well Capricorn, the ultimate earth sign really it's very earthy it's very grounding so uh, that is going to get a handle on mars quite nicely for us out there in the uh, the atmosphere so in that atmosphere as we all kind of going through sunday things shouldn't get too bad things could boil up a little bit but i don't see any big troubles coming from that but then february the 16th 7 54 p.m eastern and uh, that's going to be about 5 to 11 p.m here in the uk and uh 4.54 p.m. on uh, the Pacific coast, just coming up to 5 p.m. Pacific. Mercury goes retrograde in 12 degrees of Pisces. And... Um there we go. Then we have that Mercury retrograde, basically. It goes right on through March. We have about three weeks of retrograde. And uh, then when Mercury starts going direct again and, uh, you know, slows down, because it's all about how Mercury appears to move through the sky. Uh, Mercury sp spends a while kind of slowly turning back to going the right way. And we have a post-shadow phase, which goes right through until something like the 29th of March. So it's quite a long session of Mercury retrograde. Don't don't fear it it just really causes problems around communication more than anything else and travel transport that kind of thing and uh, you know don't just stay at home don't just refuse to do anything but plan things carefully basically okay that's the main thing to do that's coming in on sunday that's coming towards us i will be back very soon with a view of what's going to be happening next week uh, but for now i'm going to say have a fantastic valentine's weekend it's looking pretty good in lots of ways uh, everything's looking really positive in the charts this morning just that scorpio moon makes it all a bit highly strung but uh, life is like that is it not thumbs up please if you've enjoyed it leave me a comment we will share the journey spread me around social media if you can don't forget to subscribe tap that bell so you don't miss anything and i will see you very soon my friends